We are here interviewing Miss Sandine um, for our Crohn's disease project. Hi. Okay. Our first question is, how long have you known you had Crohn's disease? I have known for three years that I've had Crohn's disease. Our second question is, did anyone else have Crohn's in your family? Nobody in my immediate family has Crohn's. Um, but it's hard to tell because my mom was adopted, so we don't know a lot of her medical history, but I am the only person that has Crohn's. Okay. Our third question is, what were the first signs you felt and um, symptoms? The first signs and symptoms that I felt, um, I was actually pregnant with my second daughter at the time, so they didn't know what it was. So I went through a lot of testing and a lot of different things. Um, before actually getting diagnosed with Crohn's disease, but some of the first symptoms were I lost a lot of weight in a very short amount of time. Um, I had a lot of cramping and issues with needing to go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah. Okay. Did you learn about that in yeah. our research? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also had these weird bumps on my legs and arms, which looked like mosquito bites, okay. um, and I called those Crohn's. Crohn's bites, but it's a side effect. Okay. So, fifth question is, how did you react when you found out you had Crohn's? Um, when I found out I had Crohn's, I was scared um, and also really nervous because I didn't know what Crohn's was, so I had to do a lot of research on my own to learn more about it and how it was going to affect my life and my family's life. Um, so I was really scared and worried. Um, when I first found out. Um, number six, did you have any other problems from Crohn's? Um, I have lots of side effects from Crohn's. I have very bad joint pain and swelling. I have what's called rheumatoid arthritis um, and other symptoms that affect me because of, because of the disease. Um, and have had a lot of side effects to the medication that I take. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, seven is, what do you do to maintain your Crohn's? Um, to maintain my Crohn's, I see what's called a GI doctor, a gastrointestinal doctor. That's someone who deals with your small and large intestines in your colon. Um, and I see them every three months. But when I first got diagnosed, I saw them monthly. I don't know if in your research you learned about colonoscopies, where they put you to sleep and look through your, your stomach to see where Crohn's is. We didn't is. Um, talk about that. We didn't talk about it. Um, so I, I see that kind of a doctor and I see a specialist as well to help with, um, it's called a rheumatologist to deal with my joint pain and swelling. Okay, and the last question is, how is Crohn's affecting your life? Um, it depends on the time because sometimes, um, I don't know if you're in your research you learned about what remission is. Remission is when you don't have any of the signs and symptoms of Crohn's. Um, and I was in remission for about six months and then started to have a flare again. So when I get sick, it's very hard because it's hard on my students because I miss school because I can't come. It's hard. I have two daughters and it's hard on them because I you know, can't play with them or do certain things. So it's hard, but it's also important for people to learn more about the disease. Um, because it is something that I will live a long life with, and um, so I'm lucky that, that there's that. Um, and it's important for, for me to see the doctor and take care of myself so that I don't get the flares and don't get sick as often. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This was wonderful. Can I ask you guys some questions? Yeah. What did you learn about Crohn's through this process? Well, we learned that... Um, Do you know what age most people that have Crohn's when they get diagnosed? Probably like young adult. Mm -hmm. yeah. Between 12 and 30 usually. I was 30 when I was diagnosed, so maybe 31. Um, but what did you learn about it? Like what do you what do you take away from learning about Crohn's? Well, one thing I asked in your last question, you asked, how does it affect your life? What's really cool about the disease is if you didn't know I had Crohn's, you, you 
can't tell that I'm sick, right? Yeah. It's called an invisible disease. It's something that it's happening on the inside, but on the outside I look okay. So I'm lucky that I can maintain a normal life and you know people don't need to know about it. Obviously, I'm afraid to learn about it, but um, you know that's one nice thing about it is it's something that I can go about my, my day. Yeah, we also learned that it's not like you can't pass it on to someone. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it's not contagious. Right, it's not contagious, but it is hereditary, yeah. meaning my, my kids might have it, you know, as a result because I have it. So it's part of your genetic makeup. What else did you learn? Of the person who found, discovered the disease. Who was? Dr. Pearl Crohn's. So and that's where the name comes from. And then also, also Dr. Elian Ginsberg, I think. And Dr. Elian. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for interviewing me. This was very nice of you to ask me those questions. They were wonderful questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.